17.3 baby and free go so I did 17.3 avec with Mitch Adams and Tazdadeen he's not in the video so this is a few chest of ours I'm not sure exactly how many I forgot um, CrossFit so I started off singles not a very good idea should have done doubles or I mean touch and go so it's extremely light and you've only got to do s let me check because this is the first time doing 17.3 Third time doing an actual CrossFit open workout. And it went okay. A few mistakes, but you learn from your mistakes, you know what I mean? Like doing singles at 42 and a half. So the Chester bars are as. So the round's going. Eight minutes complete, six Chester bars, six squat snatches, three rounds of that. And then you go on to three rounds of seven Chester bars and five squat snatches at 135 pounds, which is. 61 kilos to all the Europeans. So as you can see, Mitch is a lot faster than me because he did touch and go squat snatches. I'm an idiot and didn't do touch and go squat snatches. But you learn from your mistakes. Looking like an absolute fool having the barbell fly around because I'm not smart enough <coughs> to do touch and go. Um, I realized um, after watching the video, um, I was an idiot. Chest bar is fairly easy. How many reps was it? Six, unbroken, all the time through. So you should be trying to aim, to get a good score in this, you should be aiming for unbroken chest bar pull-ups, my opinion. And it was a good workout. Um, you got heavy, the barbell got heavier and heavier and heavier. I only managed to get through three rounds, or three intervals. So there's round, there's round of three, another round of three, and the next round of three. So once you complete the, the round of three, the barbell gets heavier and the reps of the chest bar increase. <laughs> So you see here, as they're touch and go, the barbell cycling time is much quicker. The only difference is your heart rate kind of creeps up as you're doing the touch and go reps. Because you're not getting the one second, two seconds to rest in between each rep. But you do get the reps through a lot quicker. And it's the start of the workout where you get your freshest. And then after you do that, we're not at regionals or unfortunately at sanctionals, so you have to change our own weights. And this was back breaking because from all the hinging, you're then hinging over to do a snatch. And I set this weight at the wrong weight, because you, you can see there I've got, in my hand there was a 2 kilo plate and a 1.25 kilo plate. So that is about, quick maths, I don't even know. 85 kilos, something like that, no, sorry. 45 kilos, no. 65 kilos, something like that, so 4 kilos heavier, but, oh well, it's a, it's a spare at the moment. Didn't really change much in this actual part of the workout. Three rounds, then you got to do 7 chest bar, 5 squat snatches at 135. But in my case, it will probably like 145 pounds. Nice, uh, chest of our clubs, I broke there. No, I'm broken. Nice. And the reason I kept looking at the board is because um, he told us literally as we got to the gym, oh, we're doing 17.3, I don't have a clue what it was, I forgot. Nice singles. Huge reps looking a lot better than the set before. Because obviously the weight's heavier, so you kind of get away with the bar kind of sticking in the bottom of the snatch, which is pretty good for you. A bit wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. Knee sleeve on, tendonitis. Eh. Obviously, we're going to be nice and consistent barbell cycling here. Choke a bucket to the side, aka rest. <laughs> a lot of people are like, oh, they need choking. Most of the time, it's just to get rest in and obviously, kind of a tactic. Three. Oh, he's piled. Got to do seven. He's done three for the first set. Four, five, six. Oh my gosh! And he's got. I might be in. Sorry, that might be in um, six reps. My bad. I do a lot of time miss my rep. No, not a lot of time. If I don't have a clue what the workout is, I'll ever do one less or one more rep in the workout. Good snatches here, mate. At yeah, sixty-five kilos. Thankfully, I didn't miss a 61, 65 kilo snatch. If I did that, would be, if I did that, it would be pretty embarrassing. I did walk a few out though. <laughs> so with this workout, it was pretty good, straight through, nothing too extreme. Handstand walking, my my favourite thing in the world. Everywhere, I'm pretty crap at those. Weak point. Yeah. So this is the final round of the seven chest bars. I did break this. I'm guessing. Even though I said at the start, I'd like to do them all broken, that did not happen. 
all the time the game plan doesn't come through. Two, three, that did not happen. So then I'm messing my, my, my hand there. I had to use my other gymnastics grips because I left them at the gym. And obviously this is our gym because it's in Wolverhampton, it's uh, Mitch Adams' gym. See my strap is coming off. Excuse for doing single reps. The last set of four squat snatches at 85 kilos. Make sure the clip's on. Was it good, mate? No, else is good. This snatch was a. Uh, you're in the picture. This is me attempting to do CrossFit. Boom! Look at that snatch. There's people there. Yeah, I'm not alone. Huh? Half the time I am, but. I mean, watching. No, I don't, I'm not good enough to have, a, have an audience like um, a lot of crossfitters. Okay. Why do you okay. have that blue thing on your leg? Because my knee hurts sometimes and it's confidence. So as you can see here, uh, I threw my grip away. It was an Amy. So I went raw on the left side. Oh, he's missed a 65 kilo squat snatch. I think that's just like, um, just kind of going through, going through the motion, lack of concentration. Then that set is done. So we're currently on... That was done in 6 minutes 18. So the next period you've got until until 12 minutes to complete 3 rounds of 8 chest bars and 4 squat snatches at 185 aka 82 kilos probably. Stupid LBs. The only thing on my chest bars could stay a bit tight on my feet so I can really pop up, get my chest to the bar so I'm saving energy. But that's the problem with really long arms. No excuses done. Putting the clips on and the plate. So I think it's 82 kilos probably. Or 83, don't know, don't care. Still 8 something. As long as it's not 89. Other side. My back was fried from doing the changing the weights. And then I sat down <laughs> to put a little, little nugget on the side. So I did my set of eight chest bar pull-ups and I've got four squat snatches. Um, to be honest, I was looking looking into this, I was kind of scared because that week I had it, even though you're like, oh, big guy should be doing good at snatches. Um, I'm not the best Olympic weightlifter, I know that, and there's a lot of areas to improve on for me. Um, through the week I did an EMOM times eight minutes at snatch at 81 or something like that, and I missed quite a few, so that first one surprised me because it flew up and I was just oh, I was like, oh shit. I'm looking at the board, I'm like, how many snatches do I have to do? I didn't have a clue. That's why I'm looking at the board half the time. And I've got really bad eyesight. That's why I wear my glasses. Two, I don't think I missed any on the first round. I wish I did that on the rounds after that, but it did not happen. Oh, that was a good snatch. I think I might have missed this last one. In this workout, the kind of time that you're going to look back at and be like, shit. This is the reason why I didn't finish around. Is missing snatches and um, kind of wasting time in between transitions and on your chest while resting in between your reps, which happened for me. Like I should have just jumped back on. Like now, one, two, three, four, five, six. So well over six seconds resting, probably from the bar to walk into the pull-up bar is probably like twelve seconds. So even just doing singles, you can add up loads of accumulative reps. For example, if you miss snatches, every snatch is like 10, 15 seconds, depending on how heavy it is for you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's over time that can accumulate to you not finish the workout, getting caps like I did on this round. I don't know why I missed that set, that rep, sorry. Hands on the hips. Go again. Uh, I think I definitely hit this one. Most time when I miss a snatch, just light, I can get back onto it, just muscle it, and then after that, it's kind of alright. You know, so in this workout, I think I missed quite a few of this bit. This weight walked a few out, as you can see. I like to walk out a few snatches. But so far, going well. So I have 12 minutes to complete this, and it is currently at 9.39. Missed one behind me. Regular occurrence, weak shoulders. So I have two and a, two minutes and ten seconds left. So I've got two more snatches and another round of eight chest bars and four snatches. Do I get it? 
You wait till. Wait, you see? Say it down, please. Leo, say it down, please. Thank you. Very good snatch. Very sweaty session. I enjoyed this when I finished it, I was like, looking back, I was like, definitely gonna do this again, but I don't know anytime soon because it opens in two weeks. Missed another one, very stupidly, so that's two miss snatch miss snatches. And that can that this kind of made my No, this kind of stopped me from progression through to the next round. So I missed two snatches there, I missed three in the next round, and then it just adds up over time. Just like concentration, I could have rested for another two to five seconds, get myself ready for the snatch, but I did not. So, got a minute, one minute and 10 seconds to get this through this final round, sorry, get through to this final round. I was looking, I was like, I'm never gonna do this. But I just kept on pushing, because there's no point stopping. One, two. Holding on, seven. And then I had a single, two, that was nine. <coughs> or maybe eight, I don't know. So I have 40 seconds sitting down, chilling, getting ready to snatch. I know I'm, I'm gonna get time cap, but I just kept on going. 30 seconds left, or 35. I missed a snatch here, I'm guessing. Missed quite a lot of snatches as you can see today. Yep, in front of me. It's like a concentration. I'm looking back at it, I'm like, the snatch just felt fine, it was when I dropped it, I was just losing concentration now. Extension was fine. But, and I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna get another setting, another repping. And then 10 seconds, so yeah, I've got three reps left, I'm not gonna get three reps in unless you need to shink it very fast. Drop the bar, relax. You have been hey, take a seat. So that was a workout I got through round one, which is six and six. Round two, which is seven and five, and then in round three, which is eight and four, I got through two rounds and ten reps. I think next time I'll definitely get through it, but it's just getting to the next bar was two two hundred twenty-five, which is hundred and two pound kilos, which is my max, my current max. So I'll probably won't. I probably I'll be able to get through to the next round, but then that hundred bar will be a big jump for me. I'll be doing more videos like this because I enjoy recording myself, weird as I am. And if I, the only time, the reason why I do record myself is because why not? It's like I used to play football, you do a lot of post match analysis, look at your strengths and your weaknesses, what you could have done better. And then here, I, obviously, if I didn't record it, I wouldn't have realised that a lot of snatches were missed, stupidly. Especially on the 62 kilo ball, like why should I be missing 62 kilo snatches? So, see you in the next one. What's up?